What is up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to easily upgrade from a regular old hard drive to a new solid state drive known as SSDs. So I do have this Kingston 128 gigabyte model, it's the SSD now 200V and before we do start I am going to be doing this on a mid 2009 13 inch MacBook Pro. So what that basically means is since it's an older MacBook Pro model, uh, it is only SATA 2 and this SSD is actually SATA 3 but the good thing about this SSD about the SSD now 200V is that it is actually backwards compatible so it will be compatible with this MacBook so that is great news so I'm gonna be showing you how to easily install this so let's go ahead and get started so what we'll need first is we will need a Torx screwdriver and uh, that is going to be needed for the actual hard drive there is actual screws on the hard, hard I can't even speak on the hard drive and that will need to uh, take off and then insert on the SSD so you'll need a T6 torque screwdriver along with just a little screwdriver to actually uh, unscrew these screws on the MacBook Pro so simply turn it upside down as I have it now and then we will begin. I also do have a little um, thing on the side where that's actually for my camera, my DSLR. It's a little cap and that's where I actually am going to put all the screws so I won't lose that. So be sure you have something to actually put the screws in so you won't lose them or anything. And also up there at the top we do have three long screws so just be aware of that and the rest of them are going to be pretty small screws. Simply now we just take off the top as you see there and now we do have uh, two screws right to here and um, that's what we'll need to unscrew real quick to release the hard drive and uh, that's about it we just take this off we just unscrew this real quick and then we just pull it up and there it goes so that's all we'll need to do there and now we just simply pull up on this little tab right here and just pull that off and unplug the little SATA connection right there from the hard drive and that is it that's actually simple right <laughs> so now we'll have to unscrew these four little screws there with the torque screw that we have of course so simply unscrew those four little screws there with the T6 uh, torque screwdriver so you can actually pick this up like at Home Depot or something if you don't have one yet. They're pretty, they're fairly cheap. And now what we need to do is grab our SSD and insert those four screws into the slots right there on the sides. So that way it will go ahead and just slip on in there and be secure when we do put this SSD back into our MacBook Pro. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, once we do have that all screwed in, we, <laughs> that just sounds funny. Anyways, we'll just have to simply put in our SATA 2 cable right here and plug that into our SSD. And now we'll simply just have to drop this in the way I'm showing you here. We have to drop it in this way first, and then we'll just simply lay it down right there. And by the way, I did take off the little uh, tab, little sticker that was on the hard drive. That way it can be easier to pull out whenever you do decide to take this out. And uh, here's that little black little secure thingy. I don't even know what to call that. But simply put that back in place and then screw those two screws right back in. And then that is actually it, guys. We have just successfully installed our SSD. Simple as that. I love how it's so simple. I mean it's for every computer <laughs> it's not just the MacBook um, it's so simple to actually install and by the way I do have uh, 8 gigs of RAM on my MacBook Pro um, if you haven't checked out that video I'll leave the link down below in the description and also if you're watching this on the computer you can actually just click on your screen right now I'll leave that annotation right there and now we'll simply just have to screw all those screws back in and just place the top back of course and then screw it in right <laughs> and that is it guys so that is how you easily install the SSD into your MacBook Pro so that's gonna be it for this video guys uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit that little like button in the bottom left and give it a thumbs up to show me that you like it and if you have any questions or comments 
leave that in the comment section below and also let me know if you have an SSD and what your thoughts about it are or if you happen to have this one the Kingston SSD now 200V model <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. But if you're not subscribed yet, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top so you'll be notified when I come out with my latest video. Um, I will be coming out with some tests and uh, my final thoughts about this Kingston SSD. So um, yeah guys, that's going to be it for this video. Until next one guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.